an Irish name, Haskellic, um, and it means the pass of the dolphin, Shami uh, du Dauphin. Chemin, chemin du Dauphin. Olivier and La Micro de John. Nous allons jouer trois morceaux maintenant et il s'appelle Gillespie's Mazurka. Um, this is a tune, a traditional tune from Donegal. Um, Pops of Donegal, um, our children are in Ireland and they are on their holidays in Donegal with uh, John's father at the moment, on ce moment. <laughs> and then we go to a tune from Scotland after that, which is called The Baker's Reel composed by James Scott Skinner and the last tune is one from America and it's called the Calgary Polka composed by Mark O'Connor. Uh, so three tunes from three different locations. So we'll try them for you.
Merci beaucoup. Um, so, nous allons jouer un morceau que nous avons composé um, à la mémoire d'une célèbre poète irlandaise, Seamus Heaney. Um, c'est almost Hamish, or uh, an homage à Seamus. So, in honor of Seamus, um, a beautiful man and a beautiful poet um, who passed away around 10 years ago in Ireland. Um, and myself and John were invited to take part in many events uh, to mark Seamus's life and his work. And uh, we thought it would be nice to write a piece um, in his memory. But it's not a lament, it's not very slow. Um, it starts with a march and then into a slip jig after that. So I hope you like it.
Karamila Mayagas. It's a bit long. <laughs> um, would you like to hear a song in Irish? Yeah. Um, I am learning Irish. I'm getting better and better each year. I'm doing my Duolingo every night um, and uh, studying a lot of Irish. Um, John is fluent in Irish, um, but I love the sound of the songs in Irish. I just think they're so magical. Um, so I hope you'll like it. Um, je voudrais, no, je vais chanter une chanson et elle s'appelle En Chalach Here, um, which means um, Prontem à l'Ouest. Um, so this is actually a poem originally by a wonderful Irish poet um, called Martine O'Giron. And uh, myself and John took the words of the poem and made it into a song. So we're going to try it for you now. Um, and Chalach here. Yeah. 
was written by a man called Steve Cooney. I'd say he has been here before. Yeah. He's a very good friend of mine and of Zoe's. Yes, a wonderful, wonderful musician, a wonderful guitar player and composer. So, I'm going to play a tune on my own. Um, on this violin. So I have two fiddles because um, this one is a really good violin and I keep it in that tuning. And this one, not such a good violin. And I change the tuning a lot and it's great fun because uh, the fingering is all different and it keeps you on your toes. <laughs> um, so I'm going to play two pieces. The first one was composed by a great friend of ours who's a violin maker um, called Jim McKillop and he lives in County Louth. We both uh, live in County Louth and he is our neighbour. And he's a wonderful man, a great character. And he composed the first tune, which is called the Half Moon Waltz. And then I'll play a tune after that, which is called the Hangman's Reel. Uh, Reel de Perdue. Uh, C'était un petit village au Québec où vivait un seul violoniste. Il avait une relation amoureuse, secrète, avec la fille du maire. Le maire décida alors de le prendre. Mais les gens ont vite réalisé que si l'on tuait le violoniste, on aurait personne pour animer le bal du village. So on lui donna une seconde chance, mais on désaccorda son violon et on lui dit Si tu arrives à faire sonner ton instrument dans un joli morceau, on te laisse en vie. Et c'est le morceau qu'il l'a joué. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
we don't know if he stayed alive or not. Nobody knows. There are there are many different versions of the story. <laughs> National Orchestra of Ireland, uh, the RTE Concert Orchestra, and uh, this was one of the pieces that we performed with orchestra, as well as some of our other material that we did today. Um, but an incredible thing happened because um, we have gathered lots of different poems from different people and uh, made songs out of them, and the very first time that we played this was last week in the National Concert Hall, that John sang this song, and the man who wrote it um, his daughter was in the audience, which was unbelievable, uh, just an incredible coincidence. And her father had just passed away quite recently, which we didn't know at all. And um, so of all the poetry that we chose, we decided to play this one on this night. And this lady came to the concert that we don't know, and uh, was the, the poet's daughter. So very special coincidence. And um, so Fidler Glaninia. Who and you 
Merci beaucoup. Uh, C'était trois morceaux um, traditionnels. Uh, Tom Billy's, The Jig of Slurs, and The Blarney Pilgrim. Um, so we're going to do another song for you now, Askelga, um, another song in Irish. Um, and this is one called Fwishav Ayoitza. And um, it's another poem that we turned into a song. Savadir, je serai tranquille. Um, and we'd like to play this especially for our friends who came here today uh, from uh, Camper and from Brest as well. We have some friends who lived in Ireland for a while and lived very near us um, and they came to visit us. So it's just such a pleasure to see them. And um, so this is for Valentin and for Augustin and for all their friends who are here. Woohoo! And Alex and everyone. Um, and Alex very kindly is also stepping in to um, look after the CDs for us after the concert. <laughs> so Gurmila Maya, I'll give Alex. Okay, so we'll try Fuisha a Yoitza. Thank you. 
Did you hear the baby? <laughs> we have a, very, a definite singer, I think, with the baby. And we're going to play a tune that I composed. It's called Barna Vev, which means Maves Gap. And it was inspired by the mountains where we live. Um, it's a very beautiful area. And part of the mountains um, appear in a, an amazing story, which is Anton Bo Kulinya. Um, the brown bull of Cooley um, and in the story there is a part where um, there's a king and a queen and the king's army, no, the queen's army is coming up over the mountain and there are so many soldiers coming over the mountain that they leave a track there um, and that is still called to this day maybe a thousand years after the story was written um, it's called Maeve's Gap so we'll try this, this piece for you
Kuku. Well, we've come to the end of our concert today. Um, oh, thank you. It's uh, been a pleasure to play here. Um, what a joy it is for us to come and be part of the amazing festival here at L'Oreal. Um, thank you very much for coming out and uh, being such a lovely warm audience. Thanks to Calais as well, who played earlier. Um, je voudrais remercier uh, Arnaud et Olivier um, on the sound. <laughs> et toute l'équipe d'organisation. Uh, Thank everyone very much for looking after us so well. is a Scottish tune which is called Desert Storm and the second tune is one that I composed which was inspired by the fiddle playing of Donegal which I love and it's called Rounding Malin Head. Um, I am playing later on actually at uh, Le Theatre, Le Theatre? Uh, Lorient um, with a big group of amazing players. Uh, Julie Fowlis is going to be there Woo! and uh, Eamon Durley and uh, Ronan Labar. Um, and Horik Rin from Ireland. Uh, oh, I'm going to forget some people now. We have, anyway, they're all amazing. So maybe we'll see some of you later as well. Uh, Gurumila Mayagav, thank you all very much for being here. Uh, au revoir. Woo!